Today, I'm gonna be building a boat house in Blocksburg. And this idea was inspired by Michael Jackson. So thank you for that. Didn't realize Michael Jackson was on my Discord server, but here we go. So as you can see behind me, I've got a little layout for what I want for the boat. It's not gonna be like a massive mega yacht, which you know what? We might potentially do that in the future. It's just gonna be like a little houseboat. For example, this first floor here can like be all the rooms. And then this second room here can be the cockpit. Is it the cockpit? Like where they steer the wheel? Like, you know, the little helm on the boat? I'm pretty sure it's called the cockpit. Ah, it is, haha. -ha. When she's a boat girly, yeah. Okay, so we need some like plain stairs here so we can get up to the second floor. And this little back bit here is kind of gonna be like the balcony. There's gonna be two balconies. There's gonna be balcony one and then balcony two. We might even have a balcony up the top as well. I'm also gonna lay the boat with some fences. So so, you know, people don't fall off the boat. <laughs> so far, it's looking pretty good. And I think for the color of the boat, we're gonna like stick to white. Oh, or we can have like a black boat. Oh, a gold boat. Could you imagine? Okay, so there's different types of like yachts. Oh my lord, look at that one. <gasps> that is huge. I will buy that for 10 Robux. Take it or leave it. Why am I so excited to build a boat in Blocksburg? I think it's because I own a boat in real life. Well, I don't own a boat. My dad owns a boat. Obviously not a boat this big. Just like a little, little simple boat where we go fishing. I'm kidding, I don't fish. Can you imagine <laughs> me fishing? No, thanks. I think we're going to do like a wooden exterior. So for example, we can use like linen planks. You know, what? I don't usually use linen, but I feel like in a boat, you'd see linen floors. Also guys, what should I call this boat? I'm thinking the Alaskian. I think it's because I call my fan base my Alaskian. So that's what my boat is going to be called. The Alaskian. <gasps> Why did the floors place like that? That is disgusting. We also have to have some war trims down here. What should like this boat color be? You know what? The bottom can also be made out of like planks. Yeah. Oh my God. Should this boat have a plank? Just so I can use the excuse to walk the plank. Oh wait, no, that's a pirate ship. <gasps> should I build a pirate ship next? Can you imagine? That's what I'm doing next. Mark my words, I will be building a pirate ship. Okay, you got that? Now it is time to add the windows. In a boat, on the first floor, all the windows are kind of like round. So what we're gonna be doing is using these little round windows like this. Actually, I feel like it looks more realistic if they're smaller. And we're gonna put them all along the ship like this. Okay, and boom, we have our little small windows. Now up here where the cockpit is gonna go, this is where we're gonna have big, large windows. Because obviously the captain kind of needs to know where he's going. We don't want the captain sinking the ship now, do we? Wow, look at her go. She is stunning. We also need to give a little bit more depth to these walls because as you can see on the bottom bit, this kind of goes like on a slope. So we need to make sure the top bit is the same. So we'll just put a little horizontal wedge right there. Now let's have a little geezer. This is actually looking sick. Okay, and one last thing I want to do out here. I love how I say one last thing and then I add like 10 other things. Because we're making this a fancy boat, we're going to outline these wall trims with neon lights to really make the boat like stand out and glow because the Alaskian isn't any regular stinky boat. I also realized this boat is going to look so cool at nighttime. You know what? If we hit 500,000 subscribers, I shall host a boat party on this boat. You know how every single boat has their brand on the boat? I'm going to have my little brand right here. Boom. The outside of the Alaskian is done. So now it is finally time to decorate her. Okay. For the layout, because I want this to be like a typical boat home. So it has like all the amenities. So I really want like the master bedroom back here. I think the bathroom can go on this little two by two. And you know what? We're going to make this two bedroom. So bedroom number two can go here. And I guess like the kitchen, living room, dining room can all fit along here. Okay, so the first thing I want to work on is like the balcony, which is over here. Now, usually in like a yacht balcony, there's heaps of like chairs. But you know what? I think outside here, we're going to make this the dining table. I just feel like the dining table would look really cute out here. So we're going to have like three transitional tables. We also need to use a chair that's not going to like fly off the ship. <laughs> Maybe these contemporary dining chairs. They would definitely fly off the ship. I haven't figured out what interior style I'm going to go with yet. We can have like a wooden style like this or like a modern beachy style. You know what? I think we're going to go with the modern beachy style. So like lots of blues and whites. Okay, I'd say the dining table looks pretty cute. However, it's really dark in here. So we need to add some lights in here. Okay, I think that's it for the dining table. It's pretty simple, but it does the job. Now up on the second floor, this is where I want to have some sun chairs in case we want to have a little sunbathe. Soak up the sun. So we'll just plop down like two harpin lounge chairs. Also, one of you guys said this is actually pronounced hairpin. Like some Someone told me it's pronounced hairpin and I've been saying harpin. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I go to a hotel, there's always these rolled towels at the end of like your bed. So I want to put these at the end of your chair. Are you having a nice swim by the beach? You can just sit here, relax. I don't know if I should add an umbrella here. Actually, nah, who even needs an umbrella? Okay, and on top of this table, we of course need our sunscreen, our sunglasses, thongs in case your feet start to burn in the sun. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I hate these pillows, so I'm just gonna change them. I feel like these rough pillows look so much better. Okay, and we've got our two little sun chairs out here. Okay, and opposite this end, we have the front of the boat. Now, we can't add too much furniture out here because obviously this is where the captain is going to be, but I have like an idea of what I wanna do. So using these wicker 
Quaker sectional lounges. I'm gonna kind of put this along the boat like this. That way we have like a massive booth. Although we have like a massive gap over here. So I'm just going to fill this in with a basic shape. Okay, these chairs are looking cute. However, we do need to add pillows because right now they are kind of boring. These pillows are nice. However, if you were actually on a boat and the boat was moving, these pillows would go everywhere. I'm gonna make them like yellow and blue because that's kind of like a beachy color. I don't know. It's kind of like a beachy vibe. I'm not gonna have blankets on here though because it's literally like a boat in the sun. Why would you need blankets? Okay, so far so good. However, we are missing something in the middle and I feel like a fireplace here would just look sick. Probably not the safest option having a fireplace on a boat, but YOLO, am I right? Did I just say YOLO? What? Oh, okay, that is one fancy looking fireplace if I ever saw one. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do for the front bit. We've also got the last section, which is obviously up here. And I feel like a bar would look really cool up here. Again, not the safest option, but on the Alaskan, anything is possible. And on this bar, we can serve our uh, apple juice, obviously. What else? I also wanna put some of these fancy stools up here. They're like $240 each, but you know what? It's worth it. And place this little beverage fridge inside of the counter like this. And there we go. We've got absolutely everything. Also, another thing I want to add up here is a jacuzzi because <laughs> I feel like every boat needs a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? And we're going to steal a few of these lounges and just place them along the rail like this. And there we go. We've got the top floor all finished. So now it is finally time to work on the inside of the boat. The inside's not like super big, but I definitely have a few ideas for what I want to do. So as soon as you walk in, I want you to be greeted with the living room, like a nice fancy living room. So we're going to use these sophisticated lounges and we're going to have a little corner lounge moment because we have like a massive wall here. So I thought this would be like the perfect place to add the TV. I low key want to choose like the biggest TV, which is this Pixel View 360. It's like 4,300, but we're getting it. I'm pretty sure if we place like two fancy dresses, we can fit it like along the top. It's still hanging off the edge. I think the only solution to this is adding a basic shape. Okay, there we go. It finally fits. Actually, you know what I might do? I might do like a floating TV. Yeah, this is going to be one expensive boat. Okay, I did say we're going for like a beachy interior. I am going to add like lots of modern aspects. And you know what? I never use bookends. So we're going to have a little industrial bookend right here. It kind of looks like a pipe, like a ship pipe. You know what? We're also going to paint the wall black so like you can't really see the tv until it's turned on and then some plants up here all fun and games until the ship starts moving and the plant falls on top of your head and gives you a concussion you know what? i'm gonna spice up the lounge a little bit for the material i'm gonna use like wood grain in this like cadet blue oh i mean i don't hate it i think it actually looks pretty cool oh there's a life preserver mirror oh my gosh okay we're definitely adding that in the bathroom oh there's also this life preserver ring okay we can place a few here just in case the ship you know sinks i'm kidding the alaskan will never sink it is unsinkable oh my gosh should we use chandeliers in the ship? You know what? We're going to use a big fancy chandelier in here. The Alaskan deserves nothing but the best. I might need to put these up a little bit because I feel like you'd hit your head if you walked beneath it. And then finally our coffee table. I think we're just going to use like this little end table because you don't want something like too big that takes up majority of the space. The smaller, the better I say. Actually, why am I having fancy designer books? Like this is a boat. We'll put seashells on there. Okay, there's our cute little living room. You know what we're missing in here? A welcome mat. Welcome to the Alaskan. Considering the living room's there, I feel like the kitchen can go along this side. You know, I can use these arch counters. I feel like I haven't used those in a while. And then the fridge can go like along this wall. Salem, no! <laughs> My cat just drink my water again. If you didn't know, I have a cat. He's called Salem. And every time I film a video, I will always have a cup of water with me. And Salem, being the comedian he is, just decides to drink my water all the time. And I can't drink it. Like, once he drinks it, I'm like, that's disgusting. And then I just chuck it out. Like, I left my room for one second. One second. What do I find? Him drinking my water. Also, if you guys want to see more of Salem, I literally post him all the time on my Instagram. So, you know what? You should go follow me there. Okay, so far, this kitchen is actually looking so nice. You ain't ever seen a boat kitchen this good. I'm confused as to whether I call this a boat or a yacht. Oh my gosh, I just realized we're forgetting a stove. Hello? Yeah, should we buy a $4,000 stove? I am feeling fancy. Ew, look at my character. She keeps staring at me like a weirdo. Can you stop? staring at me you creep okay and then last thing we need is a sink obviously i don't know why i always forget to add a sink but i do so boom and in our kitchen we need our big fancy coffee machine oh, i love my coffees i don't know about you guys but i love iced coffee i can't stand hot coffee i don't know what it is like i've tried drinking hot coffee once and i was just like Ugh. i literally cannot i only drink iced coffee and at the moment i'm obsessed with like caramel iced coffees i'll show you guys a screenshot of what i drink and it's actually the best thing ever okay so 
we've got our little coffee set up over here. Lately, I've been obsessed with making my builds in Bloxburg like more realistic. So in the kitchen, I love to have little stories. For example, over here, we can have our little peanut butter and jelly set up. Even though I've never had peanut butter and jelly in my life, I'm doing it for my American audience, okay? I'm also giving them a little slice of bread. And I mean, look at that. Okay, so I think the kitchen is donezo. Now we just need an island bench. I was looking up yachts in Pinterest and I seen this table. So I want to make something like very, very similar to that. Actually, for this to work, we might need to use pillars. I reckon like three round pillars like this and then just like a basic shape on top. It's different, but you know what? I thought I'd spice it up a little bit. And then for the lighting, I think I'm going to do like a custom made lamp. So all you do is place a plain ceiling lamp in the middle and then using a beveled vertical cylinder, you kind of adjust it so it's like in the shape of a lamp. And then if you have the transform tool, you can kind of bring it up. And then we go, we've got a custom made chandelier. Also, I will be keeping this yacht. So if any of you guys want to make me an Alaskan decal for my new boat, send it to me on either Instagram or Discord as I will be using it. I'm going to put one of your decals like right here. Okay, so we've got our fancy hallway. Now we can start working on the bathroom, which is this little two by two room. Because it is so small, I think we're going to use a custom made shower. I know, crazy. Do you guys remember the last time I used a custom made shower? I can't even remember the last time. So we can have the shower there. I feel like the toilet should go in this corner. Whoa, looks like there's a fireworks show at the summer festival area in about five minutes. Shh, fireworks? Why would there be fireworks in Bloxburg? Anyway, so over on this corner, we can have the toilet. And then opposite this end, we'll have the sink. I'm really confused as to why I just got a notification that there's fireworks going on. I feel like I should go and see what's happening. Also, for the mirror, we're going to use this life preserver mirror because obviously it's a boat. And that is our bathroom all finished. Okay, now as for the bedroom, we're going to make this a bunk bed moment. Because when I think of a boat or like a yacht, I think of these bunk beds. So that is what we're going to be doing. So this room is like super small, but I feel like they definitely need a desk in here. So we might place this industrial pipe desk on this corner. And you know what? Instead of computers, we're going to have books. Like why on earth would you need to use your computer when you're in like the middle of the ocean? And instead of a regular lamp, we're going to have a salt lamp. But we also need room for our clothes. So what we're going to be adding is like a fancy dresser right here. Where we can have some photos of like the beach or something. Um, oh, what just happened? Wait, did I do that? What's going on? Oh, okay. I think Bloxy Burgers is on fire. Well, that sucks for them. Anyway, I would help, but like I have a yacht to build. So, okay, so we'll just place a few photos here. And just like that, bedroom number one is complete. We have the master bedroom, which is over here. As you can see, the layout is a little bit confusing. I was going to place the bed here, but there is like the door here. So instead, I'm going to place a wall here. So that way I can have the bed. Okay, so we're going to place our bed along this wall. I want to do something similar to this photo because I saw it on Pinterest. And I was just like, oh, I gasped actually. So something very, very similar. And I remember the last time I was on a yacht, they had like heaps of pillows. So, so we're going to be using lots and lots of pillows. And you're probably like, Alaska, how many pillows are you planning to add? Nine. I will be adding nine pillows. Tell me that doesn't look so comfy though. Like, don't even lie. And then a nice fancy tucked blanket at the end. And because this is the Alaskan ship, we can have a nice big A on the top. Oh, oh my gosh. We're also going to do like custom made vase lamps because the Alaskan accepts nothing but the best. Also, in this photo, there's like LED lights at the bottom of the bed. So I also want to do that same concept because it kind of looks like the bed is like floating. So there we go. We've got our floating bed moment. And then at the end here is where I want to have my TV. We're just going to have a little TV, nothing too big. Like, I feel like something like that is fine. And as you can see in the photo, they have this massive round chandelier. And that is exactly what we're going to be adding. And oh my gosh, this bedroom is looking beautiful. Now, the last thing we need to add back here is obviously some clothes. I'm just gonna add like a little clothing rack back here. Okay, and just like that, my gorgeous bedroom is all complete. And the last thing we need to add in this boat is obviously the cockpit. So where you steer the wheel, where the boat goes boom, boom, all that fun jazz. So this is what a cockpit looks like in a boat. Obviously, we can't do it that detailed, but we'll do something similar. So I reckon using these shaker counters, we can kind of create like a little table. And you know what? I never use these, but I feel like these old computers kind of fit the vibe. So we're gonna add like two of them here. And I know this is a modern ship and technically they wouldn't be using a steering wheel, but, but I really want to add a steering wheel. It's actually called like the helm. This is what a helm looks like. Not very modern, but we are adding it anyway. Also in a cockpit, there's like a bunch of buttons. So I'm just gonna like place down a bunch of these TV remotes. Cause I don't know, they kind of look like gears a little bit. And then finally our captain chair. Okay, and there we go. There's our little cockpit. Although we still have some section back here. Here. So I'm just going to turn this into more seating area. Oh my god, wait, instead of these lousy office chairs, we're going to give them a reclining leather armchair. Because I mean, look how much better that looks. Okay, so back here we'll have a little bit of seating, just in case the captain wants to have a little rest after driving the boat. And just in case we have a fire, we'll need a fire extinguisher. And just like that, we've got our cockpit. And you're probably like, Alaska, how are you actually going to get onto the boat? So this is actually going to be the walkway to the boat. But the last thing we need to do is obviously make this all water. But yeah, 
if I make this entire thing water, like this little bit here, that is $178,000. Who would spend that much on a- me? I would. Okay, so the Alaskan is all finished and comes to a very expensive total of $308,000. It's just it's a little tad expensive, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alaskan. This is the walkway to actually get onto the boat. We kind of follow it all the way back here. And then we are on the back of the boat. So this is where the dining table is. Like, oh, can you imagine just sitting here and having like a little sunset dinner? Like, yes, ma'am. I feel like I need a summer outfit on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I feel like this fits the vibe a little bit more. So coming inside, the first room we have is like the living room on the left. What I love about this is every Every single window has like a view of the ocean well obviously it's a boat and i love how the tv is like kind of hidden into the wall i think this was like such a cool touch and then opposite this we've got the kitchen now considering this kitchen is literally on a boat this is the most fancy kitchen like ever like we've got a little peanut butter and jelly set up a beautiful coffee machine like you want a cappuccino while watching the sunset you can drink a cappuccino while watching the sunset so coming down this hallway the first room we have is the kids bedroom now the kids bedroom is pretty small but i think it is actually so cute like can you imagine you and your friends just sleep in here um i'm stuck like can you imagine you and your friends sleep in here here in the waves outside now moving on to the bathroom again the bathroom is pretty small but it does the job i love this little lifeguard mirror however i don't like the pre-built shower i've never used this before and this is the toilet i refuse to go on the toilet in front of you guys considering there is a full alaska poop cult going on still a little bit confused about that and then back here which is my favorite room we have the master bedroom now to get to the master bedroom <laughs> It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but as you can see, it is so worth it. Like, look how stunning this bed looks. And I think this bedroom definitely has like the best view because we have got like windows all around you. And we've even got our own little TV where we can watch Gordon Ramsay. And then coming to the second floor, up here we have the cockpit and the sun chairs. So this is where we can relax and sunbathe and place our sunscreen so we don't get burnt. And then in here we have the cockpit where the captain will be. I think the cockpit definitely has like the best view in this entire boat. Like this is where the captain will sit and control all of the ship with his little steering wheel and if he gets tired he can sit in one of these chairs so yeah it's a win-win for the captain and then coming at the front of the boat we have some more seating options and if you want to have a little titanic moment you can you can have your little titanic moment right at the front of the ship Wow, beautiful. And then coming to the final bit of the ship, which is the third floor, we have a literal jacuzzi, a bar, and more seating options. And this is what it looks like during night. As you can see, the Alaskan literally glows like from the water. I love it. I think it looks so majestic. It literally looks like a super yacht. So yeah, that was me building a boat in Blocksburg. If you want me to feature your video ideas in a future video, all you have to do is comment them below. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.